Hi, today we're going to demonstrate one of our zirconium dioxide oxygen sensors and one of the interface boards and show you how simple it is to calibrate. So this is the sensor here, it's one of our um, probe mounted uh, screw fit probes which is designed to go typically into the flue of a gas or biomass boiler and it's connected to this OxyLC interface board. Uh, this board is a V25 version, that means it's a voltage output which is 0 to 10 volts and that represents 0 to 25% oxygen, the linear um, relationship. One of the beauties of these sensors is that they don't require any reference gas. Many other sensors do require reference gas and that means you have to uh, worry about getting some kind of known gas concentration to one side of the sensor. That's not the case with our sensors. Um, once they've been calibrated, they don't need any kind of reference gas. So, um, we've got it all connected up here. You can see we've got the five wires from the sensor going to this side of the PCB. And on the other side, we've got the power. So just we've just got a 24 volt DC supply going to the board from this power supply here. There's also a couple more uh, connections to the board. We've got this green wire, which is measuring the output, the voltage output, <coughs> which is zero to 10 volts. And it's going to this digital voltmeter on the top here. It's currently reading um, around 8.5, 8.6 volts, which is high. The air in this room is around 20.7% um, because, of course, fresh air is, if it's dry, is 20.95% oxygen, but because there's some humidity in the atmosphere, um, it's always going to be a bit lower, and typically it's 20.7%. So 20.7% of the full scale of 25, multiplied by 10 volts, gives us around 8.3 volts. It should be reading 8.3 volts. But it's not been calibrated yet, and it's not surprising it's not measuring the right value because the sensors come straight from production. So every sensor is a bit different, so we have to calibrate it in a known environment um, to make sure it's accurate. Now the great thing is we could just calibrate in fresh air, it's a nice simple free gas that doesn't cost us anything. And in order to calibrate, all we have to do is short circuit the cal input on the board, which is uh, this one here on the end. We just have to short circuit that to zero volts for a second or more. In the real world, you would do that with literally with a switch that someone might press, or if it was automatic, it might just be as the uh, digital output from a PLC would just go low more than a second, and that would tell this board to calibrate. Um, so I'm going to do that now. I'm simply going to short circuit this pin to uh, zero volt line of the power supply for more than a second. So that's for a couple of seconds, and you can see now the output's dropping to something a lot closer to 8.3 volts. So that's the sensor calibrated. That's it calibrated across the full range right down to zero. These sensors don't need two-point calibration. They don't need a zero or an offset calibration. They just need a span calibration, and you can do that in any known gas you like, um, but the simplest way to do it is in, is in fresh air. Just to prove that the sensor actually measures oxygen, it's sitting up here almost at 8.3 volts, 8.2 something volts, which is pretty good. And I'm just going to blow on it. Then you see the output of the sensor dropping. Just remember to be very careful, the sensors are extremely hot, they're heated to 700 Celsius inside, and the surface of this porous cap here, uh, which is designed to protect the sensor, but to let gas through is around 250 Celsius, so you don't, certainly don't want to touch it. So you can see the oxygen reading went down, the voltage output went down, and now it's crawling back up to around 8.3 volts. Um, so that's a demonstration of the sensor. It's extremely linear, very reliable, and as you've seen, very simple to calibrate. Thank you.